Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to Jess Alfie's channel. It's 4.57 in the morning, and I'm heading out to work. Already had my shower and um, got dressed in my scrubs. And now I was preparing for a makeup routine, a quick natural beat so that I could head out to work just to give my face a little bit of boost and a little bit of life. I was still a little bit sleepy. And so, um, yeah, that's the look on my face. So I started out um, with the NYX primer and then I went in with the brows. I utilize this eye pencil. I keep forgetting where I got this from. I'll put it in the description box. I got it from TJ Maxx, but I keep forgetting the brand. It's a cool toned um, eyebrow pencil. And so my eyebrows needed to have been shaped and shaved and all that good stuff. So it took me a little longer to get it in place that, that morning. So I was shaping it out just per usual. Um, little strokes upwards, um, underlying the top and the bottom. I then went in with some concealer. Yes, went in with some concealer. So I was able to shape it a little bit because I had tiny hairs underneath that were giving me a little bit of a problem to create a um, more structured shape for my brows. So yes, that's me just um, using a flat brush and the NYX H, uh, no, it was the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer just to create um, a better shape for the brows. So that's what I'm doing at this point. Listening to the radio in the meantime, I deleted some of the background sounds because I didn't want to get copyrighted. So yes, I thought that that was enough. I didn't want to go overboard again. It's a natural look, so I didn't want it to just be um, overly seamless. Then I went in with a concealer under my eyes. Um, this um, mode of uh, makeup that I um, was copying for a young lady, I think she was Petty Sue. She's a Jamaican um, vlogger, makeup um, artist. She does wigs as well. Yes, that's me rocking out with to some Mendisa in the morning here, just to get some life before I went to work. Yes, so back to the makeup. So she utilizes a more natural look with a concealer on the under eye, and then she utilizes the powder foundation. So what? That's what I was implementing this morning. Putting a little bit of concealer over my eyes as well, so that I would cancel out the dark shades and tired look of my eyes. And then I will go in with a brush to just stipple that in and um, just make sure that it's blended out properly and nicely so that um, when you put the powder over it, it does not crease. I do have a little bit of wrinkling under the eyes so that's not creasing. That's just my um, natural um, creases under the eye. There's nothing I can do about that with the makeup. Um, it minimizes it, but it does not eliminate that. All right, so just blend, blend, blend in. Just um, bring it downwards and just try to shear it out so that there is no harsh lines from where the concealer ends to where I will start adding the powder foundation. Just a little bit of that in between the eyebrows and on the forehead, just to bring right that light um, area in the forehead where the light um, focuses naturally on your forehead. Just blend, blend, blend. And then I'll be going in with my Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Finish Filter Powder. Um, just going with that, I think it's a shade one, just to um, seal the concealer in and to ensure that the minimize the creasing under the eyes and just to take away that sheen from the concealer over the eyes as well. Then I went in with my 
Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Um, I'll link the shade below. I've had this for a while, as you can see, I've hit pan. I had stopped using it for a while, but just picked it back up to do this routine this morning. And so I'm just blending the powder foundation in under the neck. Remember, don't forget your neck, guys, because you want it to look seamless and to match your face as well. And just went in with a little bit um, just to give my face a little bit of a boost, like I said before in the beginning of this video. Um, it's not overly done. It's not a full beat. It's just a light and natural look. All right, then I went in with my bronzer um, just to bring back in the color to my face, the natural colors, um, not contouring, but just to light, uh, again, bring the natural colors back into my face. And I tend to do a lot of voiceover because um, I'm listening to the radio usually that gives me a little bit of um, just peace um, listening to some Christian contemporary radio and um, before I go to work I just need that energy um, it gives me a positive outlook for the day and I'm going with the powder again um, just to give it a little bit more structure and cleaning up the lines of where I had placed the bronzer. Put it in in those areas where I crease easily um, my smile lines and again just cleaning up under the eyes. And then went back in with the bronzer just to put a little bit color back to my eyelids. Um, not using a palette just going into the bronzer and just to make it look natural not that dark circly look but just a nice brown shade back into my lids and then i will just use i believe it was a Maybelline mascara just to put that on my eyelashes um, just to make sure no well here you have me sealing the powder in so that my face is not looking so powdery and I am using a Milani um, spray just to um, damp my face and just to um, get all the powdery look um, to come together seamlessly and then now I'm going in with the mascara on my lashes um, it takes away that powdery look and then to elongate my lashes believe I answered the phone I was speaking with my mom who usually calls in the morning big up my mom for always watching my videos <laughs> all right so yes that's it for the lashes and then I was going into my lips. I used a brown uh, lip pencil just to outline my lips. Now I don't do this all the time, but I was also um, filming this portion for a reel. Guys, check out my Instagram handle at Nurse Jess Althea, where I share reels, um, my outfit of the day and such just fun um, videos over there on my Instagram page and then I was going in with this Maybelline it's a pinky um, moussey matte shade and um, just went in with that just to finish the lip off 
I think I had put a little bit too much lip liner and it went over the lip, so I cleaned that up. And then that was it for the makeup look. Yes, um, I think I finished at 5.07, so it took me about 12 minutes to finish this look. And then I was all for the day. Thanks for watching, guys. And do tune in back to my channel. And have a blessed day. Bye.